Hello and welcome to the video training series for JBL's Line Array Calculator 3 software. The Line Array Calculator, or LAC for short, is a simulation software intended for the design, acoustical prediction, and mechanical validation of JBL Performance Audio System solutions. LAC is available for Windows PCs and can be downloaded for free from jblpro.com. Once installed, to get started, open LAC. The opening page is split into three distinct sections. The first section on the left has four buttons, each representing a different type of system design. The orange check mark on the corner of the design type indicates which type is selected for a new file. Suspended array mode is used to design both suspended line arrays and mixed systems consisting of suspended subwoofers and line arrays. Suspended subwoofer mode is used to design systems comprised solely of suspended subwoofers. In this mode, users can optimize subwoofer coverage by applying delay to steer the subwoofer coverage pattern. Ground stack array mode is used to create mixed ground stacks consisting of subwoofers and full range line array cabinets sitting on the ground or stage, generally using a base plate accessory. Finally, distributed subwoofer mode is used to design and optimize horizontal rows of subwoofers deployed on the ground in front of stages. In this mode, users can optimize subwoofer coverage by applying delay to steer the width of the coverage pattern as needed. With the desired design type selected, the center section of the screen is used to populate the file with useful metadata. The name of the author, design location, date, and useful comments are input here by the user. This information is helpful for file management when using the companion system deployment app, JBL ArrayLink. The rightmost column displays a list of recent project files. Clicking any item in this list will open that file. To create a new suspended array, select the suspended array icon, input the project details, and select continue. The LAC workflow is split into three main functions, organized by tab at the top of the window. The software begins at the leftmost tab and progresses to the right. The venue tab is used to define the audience listening area and any architectural boundaries that may create an acoustical challenge. This is done by drawing any number of planes that represent listening or architectural surfaces within the venue. Then, using the mapping tab, define the system being used. Device types and quantities are input and then splay angles can be calculated and refined. With an array roughed in, various acoustical prediction overlays can be enabled. Virtual measurement probes can be added to the listening areas and the predicted acoustical response at those positions displayed. The response of the array can then be refined using parameters such as gain, calibration filters, and array mechanics. Finally, the configuration tab is used to configure all the mechanical properties of an array. Settings like suspension point types, array frame type and orientation, pullback frame, and cable weight can all be configured here. Below, statistics are displayed to verify safety and suspension point capacity. When mechanical configuration is complete, the ArrayLink mobile application QR code can be found here. Scanning this code transfers all relevant mechanical information to the mobile application, so teams in the field can easily deploy the system. The menu in the top left corner of the screen is home to typical file operations, such as open and save. Project details of the current file can also be updated here. Below, a list of recent files is displayed for easy access. From this menu, LAC can generate a PDF mechanical report of the array, a 3D DXF file of the array, and an EASE GLL file. Clicking Application Options will open another window within LAC. Here, users can adjust the theme from dark to light mode. Change the software measurement units from imperial to metric. Adjust real-world air parameters in order to more accurately generate acoustical predictions. Adjust the default height of the listening planes. And adjust numerous other application-specific settings. Clicking Apply in the window will make the changes required, and clicking Close will exit the Application Options window. For devices with smaller screens, full screen mode can be activated by clicking this button here, or by tapping the F11 key, or pressing Control plus Shift plus F. Clicking again will exit full screen mode. 
Over the course of this video series, we'll take an in-depth look at the software modes and file types in LAC3 and go over the skills needed to design a compatible JBL performance audio system. In the next video, we will learn to draw a new venue in the Venue tab. Thank you for watching.